Well, howdy, it's me, your instructor, John T. Harvey, one more time. And uh, this is going to be a video to update you on the exam that will take place uh, next week. Now, uh, you have an email already because that's where you found out about the link to this video. Uh, so I'm going to go over a few things in the video. First of all, uh, let's see, if you're in Continuing Perspectives, your exam will be emailed to you at 9 a.m. Central Time on Thursday. Be sure you know what time that is locally. It would be kind of a problem if you didn't log in until much later and then failed the test. Um, the exam is 10 a.m. Central on Friday for, for Intermediate Macro, reason being because they, I could not get their textbook to them uh, as quickly as I could the Contending Perspectives class, so I let them go back a day. Uh, for preparation. Now, you have two hours to take the test, so you'll get an email with the test in Word. You can type your answers straight onto the exam, or you can write them on a sheet of paper and then take a photograph and, and either email or text me the photographs, uh, whatever is most convenient for you. But get this, you can use all your notes, all your book, you can, you can use anything except another Homo sapien. And that means then that on the non-held questions, which uh, are 40% of the points in the exam, you just block copy off of what you already prepared and paste it in and you are done. So if you've got all that prepared, the uh, first 40% of the exam you should knock out very quickly. I mean, five, ten minutes of looking for the answer, block copy and pasting it in. Even if you've got to type it, maybe a half an hour. Maybe, if, you know, maybe a half an hour, which leaves you an hour and a half to do the hell questions. Now let's see. I think on both exams there are three. Uh, I think that's right. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's right. I think that's right. So, that's my advice. All right. So, you're taking the exam uh, and you've done all the non held questions because that was nice and easy. All right. Uh, then you're like, okay, now I'm going to sit back, as you always do uh, with the held questions. <clears throat> pardon me. But then you sit back and, like, what the hell is Harvey on about now? And so then you read over the question. Uh, you can sketch a few things out if you want to, whatever. Type things in as you think, uh, as you sort of stream of consciousness, type in your answer. Uh, you do on this exam, as I pointed out on my email from March, I'm sorry, yeah, March 15th, you do get points also for saying uh, non-hell things in a hell question. I normally don't do that. Normally in a hell question, if you're telling me something we already learned in class, then if that's helping you get to the hell question answer, that's great, but there's no points for it. That's not true on this exam. So, uh, but there's not much you can do about that. I'm just telling you how it's going to be, how it's going to be graded. Uh, so sit down and, and, and figure out the answer to the hell questions and type those out. And then, like I said, th th it should give you a good hour and a half, uh, hour and 45 minutes just to work on the three hell questions, all right? Uh, and without giving too much away, oh, 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 I absolutely don't want to forget to tell you this, all right? So, it's in the email, but uh, you don't have to draw any graphs for the exam. That would be a royal pain if you had to do that, all right? So, but you do have to know how the graphs work because on both exams, uh, at least one of the hell questions requires you to get out a sheet of paper and, and, and draw out the graph and try to figure out an answer. It's going to say, you know, uh, imagine the so-and-so graph or draw the so-and-so graph. What would happen if so-and-so shifted to the left or some crap like that, right? So, uh, now the only thing you have to type on your exam are your uh, conclusions from what you sketched out over here, all right? Uh, so the, exam, the, the, the um, graphs themselves are not part of the answer, but you got to know how to use the graph in order to figure out the answer. So that was my way around how on earth do we do, you know, graph questions on the exam when you're typing it up. Well, you got to know how to, do, how to do the graph in order to come up with the answer. That's true on both exams. So you must know how to use. So there's at least one graph question on, on both exams, but not in the non-hell part. It's in the hell part. Okay, let's see here. 60% I already told you that. I already told you you can use uh, anything but other homo sapiens. Um, oh, oh. Uh, for every, uh, I, I got to come up with a, with, with a penalty for the exam coming in late. All right. So uh, I am sort of drawing from what I do in econometrics. For every 10 minutes your exam is late, you lose 10% of the total points possible. So on the contending perspectives exam, it's worth 30 points. Let's say you turn it in one minute late because it's every 10 minute chunk. Uh, uh, you turn it in one minute late, it is minus three points automatically. Minus 10% of what it's worth to start with. You turn it in five minutes late, it, it's still the same penalty. You turn it in 10 minutes and one second late, oh, well now it's two uh, chunks of that. Now it's 20% and not 10%. Just don't turn it in late. All right. 
Let's see here. Oh, and also you will have my cell number on the top of the exam if you want to contact me. I've written the health questions in more detail than I usually do. As I mentioned on March 15th, uh, that I, knowing that I'm not going to be there to explain it to you, I tried to put more detail in there. Let's see. Uh, I think the last really important thing here is, but still study like it's an in-class test, all right? Uh, that's why there's relatively more points on the hell questions, is that you still need to understand how things work, all right? So if you're just thinking, well, shoot, I've got all the answers typed out. All I got to do is, is wake up early enough on, on Thursday or Friday morning and get rid of the block copy. That'll get you 40% of the points, without, you know, without question. But then once you hit the hell questions, which are asking you to interpret things about the non-hell questions, maybe you can work it out. I don't know. I mean, uh, obviously you're much better off if you understand the material. If you have studied as if it were an in-class exam, then it's going to be a breeze. Let's see. Having graded as soon as possible, I will review the exam in this very exciting room with what's behind me right now. What is that? Oh, it's just a window. Uh, we're having to move all our crap in here. Uh, well, not all of it, but um, we're having all the carpet replaced upstairs in the house. Uh, and uh, that means that we have to clear out the two bedrooms that are upstairs and that stuff's going in here. So uh, I, I promise that on the day we're going over the test, you will not have to look at, at, at uh, cabinets and so forth back there. I'll block it off because that, that would be not a TCU tuition to have to look at that. Now, let's see here. Uh, yeah, I had to get back as soon as possible. I'll send individual comments as necessary, and I already told you that part. Okay. I'm actually kind of excited about this. Uh, I, I think this is going to work out pretty well. And, uh, relatively speaking, to your advantage, especially those 40 points where you can just block, copy, and paste it in. The one thing I do worry about is, and, and I've already mentioned this, is that you don't take it as seriously as you should, given that those hell questions require you to really understand the material well. Uh, again, I'm going to grade them easier than I usually do, but you want an A, right? Not a C. So, uh, I guess that's it, uh, and I will try not to bother you much more. I'm going to go ahead and start doing the videos for, for the next part of the class, because I'm looking forward to the next part of the class, and I can't wait to start. Otherwise, wash your hands.